In this series of videos, we're going to take a look at the process of using the Ultimate Ads plugin to get AdMob ads using both Construct 2 and Construct 3 on your Android mobile games. We're going to go through the whole process of setting up and using the Ultimate Ads plugin, exporting the game with Cordova, and building the APK with either PhoneGap or Cocoon. With the Ultimate Ads plugin, we can set up banner ads, interstitial ads, and rewarded videos. Let's take a look at what we'll be building using some test ads. We start out on the title screen, where we've got a banner ad displayed. If I tap on the screen, the banner is dismissed and the game begins. If the player dies, an interstitial ad is displayed. Once the interstitial ad is dismissed, we're returned to the level to play again. Last, if we tap on the player, a rewarded video is shown. We can dismiss the video and we're returned to the level. But if we let the rewarded video complete. Hi, this is a rewarded video test ad. Nice job getting it loaded and displayed. In a couple seconds, the video will end and your app will get a reward call back. In three, two, one. The player is rewarded by being sent to the next level. We'll run through the whole process from start to finish, so you'll know exactly how to get AdMob ads running on your Android games. This will require the Ultimate Ads plugin, which you can find in the Sierra store. I'll include a link to it in the description. First, we need to add the Ultimate Ads plugin to the project. Once you've got the plugin installed, double click anywhere on the layout and scroll down to monetization. From here, we'll select the Ultimate Ads plugin, hit insert, and it's added to our project. Now that the Ultimate Ads plugin is added to the project, we can check out the properties we have available. First, we've got two sections of properties, one for Android and one for iOS. This is where you enter the ad ID when you want to show live ads. We'll cover the setup of AdMob ads later, where I'll show you how to generate the IDs you need to place here. But for now, we won't need them because we'll be using test mode, which you can enable or disable here under testing. With test mode, we can use Google's AdMob test ads instead of using live ads. Remember, when you export the game to be uploaded to the Play Store, you have to disable test mode, and you have to have ad IDs entered here for live ads to run and for you to make money. For now, I'll go ahead and set test mode to enabled. Let's move on to the next video, where we'll look at setting up our first ad, the banner ad on the start screen.